I think it'll be fine the way it is, so let's go ahead and see if we can uh, wire this guy in. Um, so the next, the next step is to actually wire it in. Okay, so what we gotta do first is run the wire into the scooter. So if you remember correctly, we had to take the, the connector off the other one to do that. Um, it, there, this one just comes with bare connectors and you just connect them any way you want. So we'll probably just plug them straight into the thing and then we'll see if it's the right way and then that way, that way we don't have to take it out and put it in. We're, we're, we're not playing this guessing game, you know? Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and route that into here. There's a little, there's a little grommet here on the back of the tub here. I think what I want to do is get it on top of. Oh, great, the grommet came off too. You want to get it up over here. I don't remember how it was in before, so but I think I want it like this. Like this, it's gonna come out. that sideways sort of. I'm going to stick it through the grommet. Uh, the grommets kind of came out. It's kind of like two ground. Oh, I don't think it's two ground. I think I messed it up. Oh, it broke. The grommet broke. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, so the ground, my grommet broke. It's, it was a little rotted. That's what happened. So anyway, it's easier to get the wire in now. So. Okay. Okay, so I've routed the wire. I think I want to get it on the other side of the brake line here. Okay, and then let's try to get this out of the way a little bit. And then here's your, where your motor connection is. Boy, is it tight. It is really tight, yeah. I don't even know if this is going to work. The wire may not be long enough. I'm going to have to make it longer. Okay, the newer control I have will have a longer motor wire. Okay, so I don't know which one goes where, so I'm just going to go stick one in one. Ooh, it doesn't fit, man. It's not long enough. Stick one in one. Being very careful not to touch them together. Okay. Okay, so I kind of just stuck them in the connector right there. I'm gonna go fire the scooter up and then see which way the, uh, the wheel spins. Yes, the light is on. I'm gonna twist the throttle. It works. It works, but it's going the wrong direction. Okay, so we gotta reverse the wires, that's what we gotta do. So shut it off again. Pull the connector out. Okay, so yeah, so we know what we need already, so I already we can already put the uh, the connector back on okay so I got the connector right here so the red one so it's reversed right now the red one is on the flat spot there's a there's a flat part of the connector and then there's a vertical part of the connector so we want to put the red on the vertical part right here because it's backwards right now so I'm gonna go ahead and do that make sure it's off uh, anyway we'll put the black on the horizontal part first I guess Make sure those tabs are sticking up. I'm not really sure which way it goes. So you have to make sure these tabs are sticking up or else it won't uh, stay. If you look quick, it's not, it doesn't want to stay. Crappy connectors there. Alright, maybe we'll have more luck with the other one. I 
heard that one click. It's supposed to make a clicking sound. It's not. Okay, that looks good. Okay. Hopefully we got it in there good. I'm going to go plug it in. Plugged in. Fire it up. Hope it works. It's going the right way. Let's try to one full power. Oh yeah! All right, so so mind you, that is probably not running at full power. It's um, it's probably uh, it's all it's only you're only pushing 250 watts out of it right now because of the uh, it's not a my controller is only a 250 watt controller. But uh, let's take it, let's put it back together and take it for a spin. So hopefully this wire is long enough. It doesn't seem like it's long enough. All right, I'm gonna go disconnect this again. And we'll put the battery in. Okay, battery's in. Let's go. Let's go put the motor connector. Yeah, let's put the motor connector on top. Yeah, it barely. Everything barely fits, man. All right, so. Oh, it was it was still on too. <laughs> all right, there it is. Everything's all. In there um, hopefully so what we don't want is we don't want it to derail itself um, I think it'll be okay um, that we'll have to test it and then hopefully the chain will stay on there um, that's the only thing I'm worried about and like it rubbing on stuff another issue is this this uh, wire is like touching the motor if the motor gets hot enough it may melt the wire but it has a little jacket on it, so all right so I'm gonna go put the scooter back together I'm just gonna kind of speed this up it's um, basically you put the bar back in here that holds everything in and then you put the deck on and then you put all the screws for the deck. Okay, so before I button everything up, uh, let me just go over a summary of uh, what modifications we had to do to, uh, to get this motor on here. Um, so we had to obviously have to remove the stock motor. We had to disconnect the, uh, the pins from the connector so we can fish it out, but but I, I, you could probably get it out without it now because I, I broke the grommet. I might be able to kind of just put this back in. It's, it's a half grommet too, so. Um, or it has a little opening here. Um, so, so we had to take the, the old motor out and then we had to drill another set or we basically we slotted it. We slotted it so we could move the motor far, farther this way because it interferes, because the motor is longer than the stock one. Um, okay, so, so there's the stock motor compared to the 350 watt motor and as you can see it's quite a bit thinner it's not as long the cylindri 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 cylindrical part is not as long so this barely fits in there I don't see how you could put like a 500 watt motor in here um, it it fits in there perfectly even the fin the fin for the motor is like right next to the um, so the, the stuff that gets in the way is the uh, the kickstand uh, and the and the brake um, the brake arm sort of kind of so what we did is we flipped the brake arm around we moved it we made it so the uh, the bracket is on um, is is close is on the frame basically and uh, so that pushed it out and it gave us enough clearance so we can we we can push it this way um, yeah and and that's a good idea because you. You want to get it as close to the stock motor location as possible because uh, we found out we couldn't adjust the uh, the counter sprocket um, distance. We couldn't adjust like where it is on the shaft because it's it's designed to only go on one way. Now you could probably move it out a little bit, but we couldn't move it in at all. So unless we've machined the shaft to to do that, and I, I don't really have the skills or the equipment to do that. So so what we wound up doing is we modified the the sprocket, the rear sprocket, and the uh, tensioner instead. Uh, what we did is we grinded the tensioner so it would, um, so you could move the tensioner arm closer to the, uh, to the frame. So, so like the chain, the, so the chain will be straight basically. And then what we did is we shimmed the rear, uh, the rear sprocket with uh, some small washers. Um, I did. I used nine total. So there's like three. Is there's three. It's a three washer um, 
what's the word? Uh, it's a three washer spacer, is what it is. So it spaced it out, so the sprocket goes out more this way. So the chain is straight. It's not like not like crooked before. Yeah, before it was like kind of like this and like this in the center. So could we had to modify the arm to go inward, and then uh, and then yeah, and then we put it back on. Uh, it's a little harder putting this uh, the chain back on because the the counter sprocket is one tooth bigger than the uh, than the stock one. We've learned that, so that's that's a good thing. That means we will get more speed out of it, um, and we have more power and more speed, so it, it doesn't really make a difference. So. Um, just in case you guys don't know, uh, like for a motorcycle, when you when you go up or down a tooth, it's equal to three teeth in the back. So it was it's like we went down. Yeah, it's like we went down three teeth in the back by getting rid of one tooth in the front, uh, and that gives us more top speed. So hopefully we can go at least faster than ten miles an hour. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, reassemble the scooter. Uh, I'm going to speed this this part up. It's um, I have a couple other videos where I show you how to do it if you want to know how to do it, but it's it's pretty simple. All right. Okay, Hayes Mig here. I'm getting my, uh, my little digital speedometer here ready. Um, so let's go pick up the scooter. I know it's heavier now, so hopefully I don't, I don't hurt my back doing it. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is pretty heavy on the back now. Okay, okay so there it is. There, I got the scooter back together. Uh, before it gets too dark, I'm going to go take it for a spin.